When you hear Thomas whistle, turn the page. Duck takes charge. Do you know what? asked Percy. What? grunted Gordon. Do you know what? Silly, said Gordon crossly. Of course I don't know what, if you don't tell me what what is. The fat controller says that the work in the yard is too heavy for me, said Percy. He's getting a bigger engine to help me. Rubbish, said James. Any engine could do it, he went on grandly. If you worked more and chattered less, this yard would be a sweeter, a better and a happier place. <coughs> Percy went off to fetch some coaches. That stupid old signal, he thought. He was remembering the time when he had misunderstood a signal and gone backwards instead of forwards. No one listens to me now. They think I'm a silly little engine and order me about. I'll show them, I'll show them, he puffed as he ran about the yard. But he didn't know how. By the end of the afternoon, he felt tired and unhappy. <coughs> he brought some of the coaches to the station and stood puffing at the side of the platform. Hello, Percy, said the fat controller. You look tired. Yes, sir, I am, sir, said Percy. I don't know if I'm standing on my dome or my wheels. You look the right way up to me, laughed the fat controller. Cheer up. The new engine is bigger than you and can probably do the work alone. Would you like to help to build my new harbour? Thomas and Toby are helping. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir, said Percy happily. <coughs> the new engine arrived next morning. What's your name? asked the fat controller kindly. Montague, sir, but I'm usually called Duck, he replied. They say I waddle, the engine smiled. I don't really, sir, but I like Duck better than Montague. Good, said the fat controller. Duck it shall be. Here, Percy, show Duck round. <coughs> the two engines went off together. Soon they were very busy. James, Gordon and Henry watched Duck quietly doing his work. He seems a simple sort of engine, they whispered. We'll have some fun and order him about. Quack! Quack! They wheezed as they passed him. Smoke billowed everywhere. Percy was cross, but Duck took no notice. <coughs> They'll get tired of it soon, he said. Do they tell you to do things, Percy? Yes, they do answered Percy crossly. Right, said Duck, we'll soon stop that nonsense. He whispered something to Percy and then said, we'll do it later. <coughs> the fat controller had had a good day. He was looking forward to hot buttered toast for tea at home. Suddenly he heard an extraordinary noise. Bother, he said, looking out of the window. He hurried to the yard. Henry, Gordon and James were wheeshing and snorting furiously while Duck and Percy sat calmly on the points outside the shed, refusing to let the other engines in. <coughs> Stop that noise, bellowed the fat controller. They won't let us in, hissed the big engines. Duck, explain this behaviour, demanded the fat controller. Beg pardon, sir, but I'm a great western engine. We do our work without fuss, but begging your pardon, sir, Percy and I would be glad if you would inform these, uh, engines that we only take orders from you. <coughs> the big engines blew their whistles loudly. Silence! snapped the fat controller. Percy and Duck, he said, I am pleased with your work today, but not with your behavior tonight. You have caused a disturbance. Percy and Duck looked very worried. <coughs> Gordon, Henry and James sniggered. 
As for you, thundered the fat controller, you've been worse. You made the disturbance. Duck is quite right. This is my railway, and I give the orders. Later, Percy went away, and Duck was left to manage alone. And he did so easily. <laughs>